Welcome everyone, I'm Alfred G. Pasamba and I am presenting my project called WinGP Forms. This is a project in uh, web information systems. I have done plenty of web information systems, hundreds, and this is uh, the motivation for making this one is just that uh, it is just uh, I <coughs> you know when you have made too many add edit delete uh, retrieve uh, applications on the web you start to think of ways to enable other people to create those kinds of applications without the need of code and a uh, recent uh, lingering request here around my area is like they need a form an app for this one, an app for this one, an app for this one. And actually there are existing paper forms, but I think there is a way for secretaries or departments or non-programmers to create web applications without the knowledge of programming. That is to enable them to create forms instead of like the forms in Word or in Excel, they can create web forms by themselves and put people there to approve the forms, put text, put signature boxes, and then they can tag people, peop and then people can in instantiate a fill up of a form, and that will be a, an instance of a form, and people can put their names, and those who are supposed to sign can just approve or comment on this, and like the, the forms will be online, will be approved, and will be static there, they can retrieve it, they can see the history of comments, of reviews, and so on, of the approvals or disapprovals. And instead of walk the paper form going around the organization, it will be an online form which anyone can create, anyone can, of workers that tag people can approve. You should supposed to get notifications if somebody comments on your form, the form can be public or private. So it's like a big system. But the idea is to enable people or normal users to create. I know it's uh, above, like, not the normal application where you create, re retrieve, edit, delete, update, those uh, applications. But this one is uh, because we're bored of actually doing those things. Anyway, as you see in the screen, I have two cameras, one s to see you typing and one for my eye-to-eye -eye cam and I'm also recording in OBS so that you can see. So let me log out. It is part of a, a big system called a AULIS, AUP Online Information Systems. And, uh, Proverbs and I have uh, many web applications here already. Uh, and this, uh, I was just motivated to do this in class to just create another one, which will supposed to uh, <coughs> try to end all of this proliferation of applications. But instead, let people make their own forms and let the forms take over the applications. Hopefully, just a dream. Anyway, let me try. I finished. Uh, this is the login. It recites a memory verse before letting you log in. I will log in with my own account. And you see in the first screen a list of forms that were created. Since we tested this, I tested this. This, this uh, form was created by me. As you see, edit. I have a log of activities uh, for that form. And as you see here, there is no delete, but there is an expire. The expire just hides. I am not fond of deletes because people have to take responsibility of what they do. But I hide things that are not supposed to be shown. And when I expire, I don't show it there, but I can still see it in the database if need be, so that the history will not go away. So I can expire this, I can edit, and you can create a new form. The reason I put the create new form down is so that people can still, be, people tend to like to create new forms. But uh, I put it always down, so there is a tendency to s read the things first before creating, because people sometimes duplicate uh, things. So I always put the create form at the bottom, and each of these forms can be edited like this. I realize this is like Google Forms. 
but Google Forms doesn't have native uh, notifications and native approvals. You have to add a module. So I'm looking at the edit. This is how the edit forms looks like. You can put signature boxes, date. So there's, there's a text box, there's a text area, there's a signature box. This first phase of this whole, sub uh, whole system, the form system is just the editing of the forms. So I did not yet do, I transferred the notifications and the messages to the another phase of this project, which is not covered in this uh, project because it's, it's too big. Anyway, I hope this is enough to uh, give confidence to, the, uh, to this class that I, that I actually learned something in this class and that I'm actually sharing something in this class. We are bored of making web applications. Okay, you can add a, a, a text. You can add, uh, this is how a text looks like. Now there's an example here. You can add uh, one line input box. This is the text box in HTML, it's an input. There's also uh, add multi-line. This one is multi-line input box, a signature prompt. This is a signature prompt. And you can uh, view form without the editing uh, clicks. That's how it looks like. It's as simple. It's not as complicated as the one in the paper, but it's like Google Forms. You cannot do everything in Google Forms, but you can do many things in Google Forms. And uh, you can, of course, sort them up. It's a simple sorting. If I want the name down, okay, you see it went down, name went down, down. So uh, in the next versions, you will be able to drag and drop those things. But this is the first uh, iteration. I just want to make it work. Of course, there's a view. This is how the view form. And uh, that's it. I tried to get um, some uh, computer science uh, people to uh, experiment with this. Those people who actually do the forms themselves and they created different kinds of forms, defense form, laptop request form, promissory note for the finance form, gate pass form, parents consent form, book request form, turn it in form, and the transcript of record form. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm Alfred Pasamba. I'm trying to create an application that will enable many people to create their own web applications with notifications, and signatures and comments on forms. It's like making forms online. Hope you get this idea and uh, it's exciting. Bye bye. Okay. We're going to create a form. Create new form. We will name the form appointment sleep. Appointment sleep. Okay. Submit. So there it is. And then we can edit it, of course, if I want it to sleep. Appointment sleep version 1. Appointment sleep version 1.0. Edit works. And then let's add text. Let's say Adventist University. Okay, it's here. Let's add the uh, one one line input box. What another input box when another input box time another input box venue. Then <coughs> agenda. Probably the agenda will be multi line.
okay so if I want to edit something I can just edit remove the space I put a space submit so for example agendas it's the simplest thing or maybe agenda should be really just agenda so that's how it is I can remove it if I want to I can remove the venue it disappears I cannot put it back so I just re-add the venue and then I can just uh, make it go up so that it looks exactly like this form agenda and then we have the thank you let's add text thank you and then let's add a signature prompt sender okay so I made a generic appointment slip and let's view it this is how it looks like and now people can just instantiate this kind of slip put information tag people and put their name here so they get uh, notifications and etc and there was a tag people here so that's how it is add edit view of this uh, forms. Thank you.